A woman who raises three children of her own, plus 37 others, certainly has a right to retire from active motherhood. Well, that's what Clara Hale thought 15 years and nearly 500 babies ago. Bob Dotson has a special Mother's Day edition of his American Dream series. Childhood should be a season of sunlight, of dreams. But these children awake each morning from an American nightmare. They were born addicted to drugs. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Ah, good. Hello. Raphael Frazier's mother passed on her $400 a day heroin and cocaine habit. Emerald Alexander ate paint and added lead poisoning to her tragedy. Hello, precious. Hello, angel. Hundreds of such children have been saved by Clara Hale, a woman who faces life with antique courage. All of them don't have to die because some of them have the determination to live. I'm just glad that I'm able to do something for them. You know, that's such a nice building. Isn't that a shame that they let it go? Clara Hale lives in a neighborhood of burned out homes. We're going to the park. A neighborhood that is a cattle shoot for drugs, all selling and consuming. Look, look, look where you're walking so you don't fall down. The children of these streets learn early that life is unfair. We're going to go up here. Clara Hale believes it falls to her to show them it can be lovely, too. Since 1969, Mrs. Hale has filled her home with other people's problems. She has cared for nearly 500 babies. Oh, Nicholas, you're wonderful. This Mother's Day, she is 79. Mother Hale did not set out to do saintly things. In fact, she was retiring 15 years ago when a drug-addicted mother left her baby at the door. Mrs. Hale took it in and word got around and soon her tiny apartment was jammed with cribs. She had already spent a lifetime caring for other people's children. She had raised 40 plus three of her own and she had done so alone. Mama Hale has been a widow most of her life. But her 40 children all went to college, and they all graduated. She agreed to care for these new babies on one condition, that their mothers enter drug rehabilitation programs. She did not want to send these children back to mean streets. 497 drug-afflicted babies have now passed through her home. All but 11 were returned to their mothers. Come here, Raphael. <laughs> because of her, this is what you see. Me sitting here, you know, because she used to talk to me all the time. She used to say, Nancy, you could be anything that you wanted to be. Nancy Frazier didn't think people like Mrs. Hale existed anymore. Because of her, she is kicking her $400 a day habit. She helped me grow, too, to mature as, as a woman. Because I think when she, from the time that she first set eyes on me until now, I think she's very proud of me now. Have you ever wondered if you'd ever run out of love? Well, I think if I ran out of love, I'd be out of life. But I think I have enough love, or I feel enough that as long as I'm alive, I'll be able to get. And here's your teddy bear. But I don't know teddy bear, Dr. That's elephant. an elephant. Oh, I'm sorry. Good night, sweetie. Mama Hale cannot recall a night without babies by her bed. All right. She has been taking care of them so you since she was 14. And you too? You want to be big like your daddy? Yes. Oh, that's She nice. plants a world as she would have it. Yes, but sleep in. Her voice, a soft whisper against the wind outside. There is no magic to what she does, just love. And that is the best seed of all. Sleep, sleep. For today... Bob Dotson, NBC News, Harlem. Go to sleep. Not all the saints are in heaven. Happy Mother's Day, Clara Hill. We'll